When I got out of prison, all I had was a stack of legal papers and a, and a sweatsuit. My daughter handed me a flat thing as we were leaving the prison, and I didn't know other than to just put it in my lap. And she says, well, go ahead and talk. And I said, we are talking. And she had to tell me that is a telephone. A telephone didn't look like that in 2002 when I was arrested. A lot of friends of mine knew that I loved to ride a motorcycle. So they all started reaching out to everybody they knew to see if they could find a deal on a motorcycle that I could afford. He has been incarcerated for 20 years and he went on a cross country trip. He went to hug all of his supporters. I got to ride the whole length of Route 66 from here in Chicago all the way to Barstow, California. I rode across uh, deserts, mountains. Uh, I rode 300 miles down the Pacific Coast Highway in the Big Sur. Um, I rode over mountains in uh, Washington State that unfortunately I found they had snow at the top. <laughs> and, uh, I rode through Yellowstone. I rode through uh, the whole west of the United States. It, it was beautiful. Craig was the second prisoner I ever worked with. I was a writer who was writing about cannabis, and like most people, I was unaware there were people serving life sentences for marijuana, and that just haunted me. I couldn't not do something about it. It's comfortable to think that people like Craig were anomalies, maybe those one or two poor souls that got caught in the wheels of justice, but what I learned is it's not an anomaly. It's the way things are regularly done. The name of the federal charge was conspiring to possess with the intent to distribute marijuana. In my case, it carried a sentence of from zero to life imprisonment. And since the discretion is up to the judge, although I had no prior convictions and nobody was hurt, I was nevertheless sentenced to life imprisonment. The statute that I'm charged under and the uh, sentence that I have is exactly the same as that of El Chapo Guzman, the head of the Sinaloa cartel. Craig's was really one of the most egregious stories for a few reasons. He didn't use marijuana, he was never caught with marijuana, he really, he was a third party vendor. All I see is memories here of uh, all the work I did here and all the years that my business has operated out of here. Well, the name of my original business was Cabin Back Pickup Truck Camper Tops. And we built camper tops for the back of pickups. But unfortunately, I did some work directly for a company that leased trailers. And this company would take the trailers down to uh, Mexico, hollow out the lot walls, fill the walls with marijuana, drive those uh, trucks through the border patrol. I didn't know what they were doing. They, they drove the trucks all the way up here a thousand or so miles away for me to rebuild them back to their original shape. They saw my participation in their offense by rebuilding the trailers when they were done with them. They saw that as me agreeing to their uh, trafficking of marijuana. I was imprisoned from March 23rd, 2002. So just shy of 19 years. The way a federal life sentence works, there is no possibility of parole. There is no early release. But uh, many of the violent prisoners, bank robbers and that sort, were, were serving three and four and five year sentences. A person that murdered people, he came in a year after me and he went home three years ago. Marijuana fans are celebrating in Denver with voters in Colorado and Washington State, the first ever to make it legal for adults to possess and sell small amounts of pot for recreational use. And I started this over 10 years ago. They would watch stories on the news about cannabis legalization. I would send photos because we would have a booth at events like the High Times Cannabis Cup. And they were all very hopeful because they were sure help was on the way. It has to be. You know, and now a decade later, they're more feeling like they've been totally forgotten. Under President Obama, he did a special initiative called the Clemency Project, and I went fully through that program his last year in office. I was denied clemency. I had actually tried under President Bush in 2008, I believe. That one was denied rather quickly. I was released uh, from prison on January 20th, 2021, President Trump's last half day in office. And it was to the last minute. I mean, Craig had already gone to bed. He didn't think it was going to happen. At five minutes after midnight, I talked on the phone with Ivanka Trump, and she told me that her father had commuted my sentence to time served.
Well, as a felon, depending on where you live, you may or may not have the right to vote. You don't have the right to have a firearm, things like that. If you have a pardon, it's like it never happened and all those rights are restored. It's extremely rare. Right now, there's 17,400 petitions sitting at the uh, Office of Pardon Attorney filed by the, there's about 130,000 uh, federal prisoners right now. All those petitions are sitting there and I, I think it's a safe bet that way less than 1% of them will ever be granted. Clemency and a commutation of sentence are the same thing. So what that means is they wiped out your sentence or reduced your sentence in some cases. Clemency is a power only held by the president. And to be honest, I received my clemency because of my connections which does fill me with guilt. Craig has been working hard since he got out. You know, a lot of prisoners say that they're going to reach back in after they get out and it never happens. Remember, most of the people in prisons are not lifers like me. Most of them will be released to the society. And many of them come to me, the, the convictions date all the way back to the 1970s and 1980s. Americans don't even really have an awareness of what's going on in our criminal justice system. We have to admit we got this wrong and it should have never been illegal in the first place, so let's fix it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.